Our job in this office is to help veterans. And it's a job Earl Schmidt, director of the Orleans County Veterans Service Agency, takes seriously. So when Schmidt was approached by sheriff's investigators about the service history of 69-year-old Earl Skellen, an active member of Holly VFW Post 202, this veteran began to do some digging. Using Skellen's right. social security number, Schmidt searched the records of every service branch as well as several veteran service providers, such as the VA at hospital. But each search came up with nothing. Mr. Skellen did never, never did uh, request those benefits. He never enrolled into the VA health care system. He never filed for compensation through the Veterans Benefit Administration. If they were in Vietnam, most of my Vietnam veterans are facing 14 illnesses from the exposure to Agent Orange, which Mr. Skellen stated he was service connected, but he had never filed a claim, which was kind of unusual to us. And just days after Schmidt became involved in the investigation, Skellen's series of alleged tall tales came crumbling down when investigators asked to see his military discharge papers. It was at that point this former VFW post commander came clean. He came in and told us and said under deposition that he had never served in the military whatsoever. He had lied to the veteran of foreign wars for over 20 years. Schmidt believes in oversight decades ago allowed verification of service to fall through the cracks. It's heartbreaking to think that somebody would like and impose themselves with an impersonation of a veteran. In a statement to 7 Eyewitness News, Orlean County Sheriff Randall Bauer says, quote, knowing that so many brave men and women have served and have lost their lives, I know the veterans take this extremely personal, and so do I. This shouldn't have happened, and I'm glad we caught it. Skellen is charged with scheme to defraud and grand larceny. Live in the newsroom, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.